Okay, let's take the next one that is question number 39. If the standard deviation of the numbers 2, 3, A and 11 is 3.5, then which of the following is true? One equation we have to find out in terms of A, right? Now the standard deviation of the four numbers is given. We know that standard deviation is obtained as square root of summation x i square by n minus x bar square. This is given to me 3.5, right? So, we can write here simply. So, squares of numbers as 4 plus 9 plus a square plus 121 divided by 4 minus mean that is 2 plus 3 plus a plus 11 divided by 4 square is equal to 7 by 2 square. Just simplify the equation to obtain the result as 3a square minus 32a plus 84 equals 0. We can also apply one elimination method for the same. Once we obtain this expression, if I put a equals 0, I will get some constant value and we can see on substituting a equals 0 in these four options, all constants are different. When you put here a equals 0 here on taking this 7 by 2 square on LHS, you will obtain just one term 84. This is clear. So, this is again a good option. We can eliminate the option. Now, here we can see the option 1 is correct. Let us move to the next one that is question number 40 from integral calculus. The integral 2x12 plus 5x9 divided by x5 plus x cube plus 1 whole cube dx is equal to. So, let us start it. We can simply plan this question by taking x5 out of this bracket which becomes x15 and taking that x15 into the numerator part. This gives me 2 upon x cube plus 5 upon x6 divided by 1 plus 1 by x square plus 1 by x5 whole cube dx, right? Now, if I plan to put this term 1 plus 1 by x square plus 1 by x5 as t, I can see here minus 2 by x cube minus 5 by x6 dx is equal to dt, which is already available in numerator. So, we can write here equals minus dt by t cube giving me 1 by 2 t square plus constant of integration. This point is clear. So, we can see from the given options since t is 1 plus 1 by x square plus 1 by x 5, substitute this term and